Hello everyone and welcome to Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 18, Writing and Evaluating Expressions Using Addition and Subtraction. Student outcomes for today. Students use variables to write expressions involving addition and subtraction from real world problems. Students evaluate these expressions when given the value of the variable. Today's lesson is going to move kind of quick, so if it's going too quickly for you, go ahead, pause the video, rewind, get caught up, etc. And there is quite a bit of writing, so again, pause as you need to. Let's go to our opening exercise here. Opening exercise. How can we show a number increased by 2? So a couple ways to do that. We can have a number represented by a plus 2, or we can do 2 plus a. Now to represent that using a model, pretty basic. Construct yourself a tape diagram. Let this be a, let this be 2. And on this side, we could have let this be 2 and let this be a. This matches up with this expression here and this diagram with this expression here. So as we move through these exercises today, if our focus is just being descriptive on our variables. So this opening exercise here, it tells us to read the variable in the table and improve the description given by making it more specific. So on this first one, we have Joshua's speed is J, and let J equal Joshua's speed. Well, what speed? So here we can write, let J equal Joshua's speed in meters per second. So again, we're more specific by indicating what is the speed? It's in meters per second. On to our second one here. We have Rufus's height, R. Let R equal Rufus's height. So what is Rufus's height? We can let R equal Rufus's height in centimeters, or you could have chosen inches, feet, etc. At this point, go ahead, pause the video, solve the next few on your own, and when you're ready, come back and we'll see how you did. So for this one here, we have milk sold M, let M equal the amount of milk sold. So what is the amount of milk? Let M equal the amount of milk sold in gallons. On to our next one, Colleen's time in 40 meter hurdles. Let C equals Colleen's time. So go ahead, go ahead, pause it, come back when you're ready. Here we have let's see equal Colleen's time in seconds. You could have chosen minutes or some other time frame, but I think seconds is the best because it's only 40 meters. On to Sean's age, let S equal Sean's age. So what is S? Is it years, months, days, etc.? Here I put let S equal Sean's age in years. Moving right along to exercise two, it's the same type of thing here. Read the variable in the table and improve the description given making it more specific. So for this first one, we have Carolyn CDs, K. Let K equal Carolyn CDs. So let K equal the number of CDs Carolyn has or number of CDs in her collection, etc. cetera. Okay. On to the next one. Joshua's merit badges, J. Let J equal Joshua's merit badges. So what do we want to say? Well, we could say, let J equal the number of merit badges Joshua's earned. I put earned here. You could be collected or, you know, has in his collection, etc. So at this point, go ahead, pause the video again, do the next couple on your own, and come back when you're ready. So here we have Rufus's trading cards, and I put let R equal the number of trading cards in Rufus's collection or in his collection. That would work. And on our next one, let M equal the amount of money, of milk money. So here I put let M equal the amount of milk money collected in dollars. So we're going to move on to our story problems for example two. It says read each story problem, identify the unknown quantity, and write the addition or subtraction expression that it describes. Finally, evaluate your expression using the information given in column four. So the first couple have been done for you. Story problem, Greg has two more dollars than his brother Jeff. Write an expression for the amount of money Greg, excuse me, Greg has. So description with units, let J equal Jeff's money in dollars. The expression is J plus 2 because we're looking for Greg and Greg has two more dollars. So if we know that Jeff has $12, we can set up our work, J plus 2, 
12 plus 2, and Greg has $14. On to our next one. This one's also done for you. This is kind of like the flip-flop of that same one using subtraction. Greg has two more dollars than his brother Jeff. Write an expression for the amount of money Jeff has. So if we let G equal Greg's money in dollars, we can say, say G minus two because Jeff has two less. And if Greg has $14, we can set up our expression here. G minus two, 14 minus two, 12 and Jeff has $12. Show you one more before you can work on your own here. It says Abby read eight more books than Kristen in the first marking period. Write an expression for the number of books Abby read. So we're going to let K equal the number of books that Kristen read. We're going to put K plus eight because we know Abby read eight more. And here, if you're given that Kristen read nine books in the first marking period, we can do K, Kristen, plus Abby's books, then Kristen and Abby's books, which is 17, and then Abby read 17 books in the first marking period. So go ahead, pause the video here. There's uh, about five more that I'd like you to solve on your own. Come back when you're ready, and we'll take a look at your answers. So our first one here, Abby read six more books than Kristen in the second marking period. Write an expression for the number of books Kristen read. So we're going to let A equal the number of books that Abby read. We're going to do A minus six because if Abby read six more, then that means that Kristen read six less. So we have Abby reading 20 books. So A minus six, 20 minus six is 14. Kristen read 14 books. Moving on to our next one. Daryl has been teaching for one year longer than Julie. Write an expression for the number, it should be number of years that Daryl has been teaching. So we have description in units. We're going to let J equal the number of years Julie has been teaching. And we know that Daryl has been teaching for one more year. So we can do J plus 1. And if Julie's been teaching for 28, we set up our expression. We fill in our numbers. We get our answer. Daryl has been teaching for 29 years. Next one, Ian scored four fewer goals than Julia in the first half of the season. Write an expression for the number of goals Ian scored. And I apologize about these being cut off. It's just kind of how they fit in the text box. So I'll stretch that one out for you. So if we let J equal the number of goals Julia scored, we can say J minus four because Ian scored four less. And if Julia scored 13 goals, we can say J minus four. 13 minus four is nine. Ian scored nine goals. Might as well fix this one while I'm at it. There we go. Description with units. Uh, Ian scored three fewer goals than Julia in the second half of the season. Write an expression for the number of goals Julia scored. So we're going to let I equal the number of goals Ian scored. So Ian scored three fewer than Julia, so that means Julia scored three more, so we'll do I plus three. Ian scored eight goals, I plus three. Eight plus three is 11, Julia scored 11 goals. And our next one here, Johan visited Niagara Falls three times fewer than Arthur. Fix this again here for you, there we go. Then Arthur, write an expression for the number of times Johan visited Niagara Falls. So description with units, let F equal the number of visits to Niagara Falls. And then we're going to do F minus 3, because 3 times less. Arthur visited Niagara Falls 5 times, so we'll do F minus 3, then 5 minus 3, 2. Johan visited Niagara Falls twice. Great job today. Excellent work. Go ahead when you're done, uh, complete your exit ticket. Again, if it went a bit fast, you can go ahead, rewind, and make sure you have all the information that you need. Have a great day.